welcome back to another video on the channel now today today is a video i was not expecting to make i wasn't expecting to make a video before our game away at Altrincham tomorrow but Wrexham FC have announced some incredible news. So seeming as we are the Wrexham FC fan channel on YouTube, it's only right that we report on this news and talk a little bit more about what's been going on at the club this week. So we're going to start off with the news that you all want to hear. I've got it up here, we're ready to talk about it. I've literally seen it like 10 minutes ago, so I'm going to have to read it off my phone. It says, the soccer tournament, the $1 million winner-take-all 7v7 World Championship today announced the acceptance of Wrexham FC in their 32 team field. Now this is the first time that Wrexham will compete in the soccer tournament, the $1 million winner takes all competition. And it is the ninth team to publicly announce that they will be competing in this tournament, joining former US men's national team star Clint Dempsey's Team Dempsey alongside popular British football club who've made their way up the ranks in the English Pyramid from their star on YouTube, Hashtag United, historic Liga MX side club Nisaxa, I don't know if I've said that right, and US women, a group of former United States women national team players organised by Heather O'Reilly amongst others. Now I don't have a incredible knowledge of what is going on but I think like I've just read out it's fairly simple to understand what we believe is that it will be a seven aside tournament where teams will play multiple games and the winner literally takes the million dollars so there won't be any second runner-up prize it'll literally just be the winner gets the million dollars and obviously for Wrexham it is club legends who will compete we don't know if there will be players that currently play for the club or it'll just be players that have previously played in the past. Sean Harvey did say we look forward to debuting in the US with a Legends team and the ambition of winning the tournament. He said should we be successful $500,000 of the prize money will be used to enhance Wrexham FC and the club's work in the local community. So this is obviously game changing for Wrexham FC and not just Wrexham FC, hashtag United do we know do play in the ranks of the non-league pyramid as well a million dollars to a team like that it would be game changing for them and would be life changing for the club and for Wrexham again it's a million dollars it can be used to enhance the club we can use it to grow we can use it to put Wrexham on the map even more than it already is so at the end of the article it does say it will be like a world cup format there'll be 32 teams there'll be groups they'll go to a knockout and then they will go on from there like a quarter semi and then the final all but one slot in this tournament has been filled that one slot will be auctioned off in March so Wrexham are one of those teams that arrived into the tournament lately and it's a no-brainer considering the effect that welcome to Wrexham has had for the club and obviously has grown the US audience and I can imagine there'll be a lot of Wrexham fans in the US that will take an interest into this tournament and will want to watch the team hopefully win the million dollars so yeah exciting times for Wrexham FC these games will be played between the 1st and the 4th of June of 2023 in the summer I mean I'm sure there'll be a lot of people watching that will be supporting Wrexham whether we'll do that tournament and then the other US tour we don't know hopefully though it should be a good day out for all Wrexham fans going and who knows I'd, I'd love to take a trip over to the US whether it be to watch the Legends team hopefully win the a million dollars or whether it be to follow the first team as they take on the adventures of the USA. And in other news, Wrexham FC did announce the signing of Owen O'Connell from Charlton Athletic. Now, I bet you're looking at his name and you're thinking, how on earth do you pronounce that name? I believe it's Owen, Yoan. I've Again, I completely don't have a clue. When he did the video announcement, it sound sounds like he says Owen, so I'm going to call him Owen O'Connell for now. But yeah, he has joined the club on a long-term contract and on an undisclosed fee from Charlton Athletic where he played 19 times in League One this season. He's been hamstrung with the fact that he suffered a couple of injuries, which has limited his game time. And obviously, dropping down to Wrexham, we've got great facilities, and I'm sure we'll be able to keep him fit and get him the much-needed game time that he does deserve. Now, you might have seen my tweet that I did put up on Twitter. I basically did just a short brief on why Wrexham FC have signed Owen O'Connell. Now I'm just going to read out now. He's versatile across the back line. He can play left centre-back, centre-back and right centre-back, which is really handy for us. He wins 5.16 aerial duels per game. That is a 61.64 success rate, which mirrors what Jordan Tunnicliffe 
was doing before he got his injury. So it's basically like a carbon copy of signing Jordan Tony Cliff. O'Connell is dominant in the air. He can win headers and I'm sure he'll be a massive threat from set pieces. He's also been described by Charlton fans as a very calm on the ball, composed and his passing is top of the range. Some of the best you can get for this division. He's six foot two and has a similar build to Jordan Tony Cliff. So like I said, just then it's it's basically a carbon copy of what we have of Jordan Tony Cliff. So it's the perfect replacement. It's great business by the club to get him in. He's experienced across loads of leagues, whether it be in England and Scotland. He learned his trade at Celtic, where you might see the pitch that's been circling social media of when he did play in the UEFA Champions League and he did come face to face against Lionel Messi. So, I mean, that's an experience in itself. And it'll be vital as we look to get promotion this season. He also averages 52 passes per game, so he likes to pass the ball, he likes to get the ball forward, which is great, because this is also what Tony Cliff and Hayden really like to do, especially Hayden. He used to like to drive forward and then play the ball, so hopefully we can see the same with O'Connell. So I think a lot of you are wondering, will O'Connell be involved in the matchday squad for the game against Altrinham? On BT Sport tomorrow night and I think we can say the answer will be yes I believe O'Connell will jump straight into the starting lineup it's a bit different from when we signed Cannon obviously Cannon's game time was limited a lot this season he was only playing for Hull City reserves but with O'Connell 19 games this season in Charlton Athletic in League One so he's definitely not rusty whether he's still recovering from injuries he's got slight niggles we don't know but my heart says he will play an involvement tomorrow especially as well that we know the fact that Hayden and Tony Cliff will not be involved. And I think that's right to move on to what is happening with Aaron Hayden, Jordan, Tony Cliff. What are the injuries that these two defenders have sustained? So we did know that Tony Cliff did suffer an ankle ligament injury and will be out for a very long time. And with Aaron Hayden, we know he did suffer a calf injury, which is obviously gutting to lose both centre halves. But considering they're going to be out for the long term is even more worrying. But for me, Again, we're very lucky that our squad depth is going to come in place. We've obviously got Max Cluith, Harry Lennon, Tom O'Connor who can sit into the back and then James Jones will go midfield. We've got our new signing, Owen O'Connell. So we're not sure of options, but like we said, we're going into an incredibly important part of the season. We've only got less than half of the games left and to lose Hayden and Tony Cliff for the long term is quite worrying but the replacements that we have got that will come into the side i'm sure will do an absolutely incredible job so that is the latest wrexham afc news that has come out obviously two breaking bits of news the new signing and obviously the tour to america let me know in the comment section down below any of my us audience will you be going to north carolina to watch the reds legends of Wrexham FC play and then obviously if we get past Sheffield United on Tuesday night which I'll be attending so watch out for the match day vlog for that we will face Tottenham Hotspur in the next round which would be absolutely crazy we could see the likes of Harry Kane, Jungmin Son, Hugo Lloris, Antonio Conte who has fallen ill the last couple of days so we do wish Antonio Conte all the best and a speedy recovery but to host Tottenham Hotspur in the fifth round of the FA Cup would be an absolute dream. So fingers crossed we can get through Sheffield United on Tuesday night, cause a massive upset there and then go on to Premier League Giants banter club Tottenham Hotspur into the next round. So yeah, make sure to click the red subscribe button down below for all the best Rex Mercy content on YouTube. Make sure to drop a like on today's video and keep an eye out for the match day vlog tomorrow night away at Altrinham. It's a massive game. It's a must win for Rex and it's important that we keep up with Notts County and we keep going toe to toe, which I can only assume will go down to the final day. But yeah, like I said, make sure to keep an eye out for that and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care everyone. Up the town.